Hey everybody, happy 24-ounce uh, Tuesday, or in this case it's only going to be 12-ounce Tuesday because I only have one bottle, but it's a very special bottle. Oh yeah, <laughs> this one's for you Josh Secor. Yeah, I got your favorite. It's uh, uh, not quite, this is, according to the label, this is the export Pabst Blue Ribbon beer. So, yeah, this is the filthy foreign version of uh, Blue Ribbon, but it's uh, full 12 fluid ounces, so it's still American enough. Oh yeah, <laughs> twist tap. You do not disappoint, Paps. Oh, tastes just like I remember. It's actually, yeah. It's actually not a terrible beer. Uh, ooh, only 4.5%, jeez. It's a baby beer. Um, yeah, it's actually not that bad. I haven't had it in a while. Uh, yeah, I used to have it when I was a lot, when I was a lot younger, when I still lived in the U.S. Uh, I used to have it on special all the time, but... I don't think I've actually had it since it came to Denmark. It came out here, um, you know, after it got popular with all the, uh, all the hipsters and stuff, uh, they, they started importing it, uh, here in Denmark because it appealed to those same kind of people. Now it just kind of languishes on the shelf. I don't know. Anyway, it's, uh, it's a little, little pricey for what it is here. It's about three bucks a bottle. So, this is, uh, this is a one time just from a man, Josh. Oh, what's going on? Oh, Easter's over. It was um it was a long it's a long break here. We get um we get five days off, so yeah. We get five days off and I technically got six because I got in late on uh last last week on Wednesday on the last work day. So I've been gone, yeah, gone from work for technically for over that because I was in Berlin before that. So I've been been gone for work for over a solid week. That's um it's actually crazy. I uh got back and I had forgotten everything. Totally didn't know how to do anything. Basically just sat in my sat in my computer and drooled. No, no. But um this is the first time I've ever been like where I've I've actually started to miss work when I um when I was on a, when I was on a vacation or when there was vacation days. So that's a weird feeling, isn't it? <laughs> I guess. Uh, anyway, um, beer crap. Let's talk about, oh, I have a shout out. I'm just going to quickly do, because I'm always forgetting, um, sticky tentacles. I'm getting, why am I pointing this at you? I'm going to just gesticulate with this for a while here. Um, I found out about this guy from uh, Tony Eights. Uh, his name, uh, his channel name is Sticky Tentacles. He's actually a, a Norwegian home brewer, uh, but he uh, he's an actual Norwegian home brewer, uh, an actual Norwegian. But uh, he does his uh, he does his videos in English. So um, yeah, I found out about him. Uh, Tony Eights did some uh, did some beer reviews of his and picked up his channel and it's it's actually really cool to um to have somebody else there are not that many scandinavians doing uh brew tubing uh, I, I can only think of a couple two three four of us so uh it's really cool to uh to see somebody else uh from scandinavia getting on to brew tube so um go check out his channel he started doing uh some fuck it fridays and uh, he's uh, he's doing some cool cider stuff. So yeah, go. To, I'll put the I'll put the link. Uh, this time I'll I'll remember. I actually I think I remembered last time, but I'll put it down there. The link, the linky link. So anyway, um, yeah. Oh, it's good stuff, man. You know what? When I come and uh, live in the uh, corner of your basement, Josh, I'm uh, I might actually enjoy getting me some of these. <laughs> uh, anyway, what else was I gonna, oh, uh, 
overwhelmingly everyone uh, when I asked about uh, pre-wired um, temp controllers last week uh, overwhelmingly everybody just went with Inkbird so by like the seventh or eighth comment suggesting them I just went and um, I went and ordered some I, I ordered the the pre-wired ones with the double the um, the heating and cooling and the everything is uh, yeah pre pre-wired how many times am I gonna say pre-wired uh, yeah, so I ordered it from uh, I ordered it from Germany because you got to be you got to be careful when you live in Europe. Um, you got to order it. You can't order stuff from the UK because they have different plugs than the rest of Europe. So it, were, it was expensive compared to like STC one thousands or stuff you got to wire yourself. But I think for the peace of mind that it's not going to be burning my house down while I'm at work, I think that that's uh, it's worth a few extra euros. So yeah, I'm really hoping they come this weekend because I would uh, I'd like to start the build on that. Uh, the brown ale isn't going to really benefit from it, although it would be cool to see how low I could get the temperature if I could actually crash cool the uh, the hoppy brown ale, which uh, it's bubbling away. Um, oh, I'd show it to you, but it's it's all the way downstairs. So I'm, I'm recording upstairs because my wife is home. She was homesick today, so don't want to disturb her. But uh, yeah, the brown ale is is bubbling away. I'm gonna try and take a I'm gonna take a gravity reading tomorrow and see where it's see where it's sitting. Uh, hoping to dry hop it this weekend. I really want to get it turned around rather quickly. So uh, yeah, but it it turned out really good. Um, a really long video. I I took Day footage of it and I was editing it the other night and it's uh, it's. One of the longest videos I've ever done, so um, it's like 25 minutes, 30 minutes long. I hope, uh, <laughs> well, I hope you're interested in seeing uh, Grainfather Brew Day. But uh, yeah, I, I was um, I was brewing by myself, so I, I kind of I showed a lot of I showed all the steps, like yeah, like I didn't do last time. Anyway, that's that's coming out rather rather quickly because I'm yeah. Yeah, what else is going on? Um, thinking about uh, I've got I've got a lot of um, uh, kegs. I, I got a bunch of free kegs when I worked at a brewery, which is a is a um, a story for another twenty four ounce Tuesday, I think. But um, I have like six or seven kegs, and uh, five of them are just sitting in a storage uh, in a storage area place. Uh, and I only have two two keg spots in my um, in my fridge in my kegerator, so all those all those kegs are just sitting just empty and useless. And the they're uh, thought about selling them, but the the price for for kegs here is like it's they're not even they're hardly even worth the metal that they're made out of. Just selling them, so I'm I'm actually thinking about converting one or two of them into uh, fermenter. Uh, I've seen uh, I've seen people online do that uh, ferment in kegs either by like drilling out a, an airlock uh, bung area on the lid or um, or using a, a quick disconnect and putting an airlock into it. So uh, I actually think I'm gonna do that. Uh, I'm, I'm coming up here because of the lag time between my brews, I, I'm gonna probably have an open spot in my kegerator for for a good like three, four weeks. And I, I think I'm gonna try and do a lager because I, I don't see myself being able to lager without using a keg as a fermenter anytime soon. So I think I might try and do that if I, if I get the time together but I'm, I'm definitely going to convert at least one keg into a fermenter let me know in the comments if you've done that i asked in the round table but not everybody's in there so um if you have any experience uh using a keg as a fermenter uh, let me know let me know what i can expect or let me know you know what what i shouldn't do to, yeah, or what i should do yeah you know what i'm talking about all right guys my goal is to keep these under 10 minutes from now on so uh, I can see that 10 minutes is just passing. Cheers. Hope everybody's having a good uh, good week. 
get back from, hope everybody had a good holiday. And, um, yeah, this is actually a lot better than I remembered. Cheers.